Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a, a nice little GUI. I'm a big fan of GUIs. Whenever I can use them on Ubuntu, I do use them. Uh, some people are command line fiends. I'm more of a GUI guy, although I've used both uh, plenty. So uh, this one is called P7 Zip GUI for the latest Ubuntu uh, LTS. And uh, 7 Zip... Um, is a really good compression tool uh, if you're looking to compress your archives because we're talking about backup a lot recently. For example, if you're trying to make a big file a little bit smaller to fit on something. So what I'm going to do uh, today is show you, show you how it looks because um, I didn't actually really find um, sort of videos. I'm going to just get rid of the Chrome tab because those ads are, are bugging me. Um, so this is what the GUI looks like. It's available. That um, blog ahead up there tells you how to install it. Uh, it's available as a snap, so it's very easy to install. Uh, this actually maybe isn't the best one to demonstrate on because there's only one file. But I could try to compact. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just let's just try this. Uh, so this is a huge, well, comparatively huge, not huge uh, according to some people, but it's uh, 10 gigs, relatively big. Uh, this is a mbox, which is the export file that Google Takeout uses. You can see it's, it's all mail. Uh, my entire email archive came out to 10 gigs. 10 gigs, uh, and then those would be megabytes, I think. Um, anyway, so this is a GUI. Now, what I want to do is uh, say I'm going to add this. And what I like about this is if, you're, if you don't want to learn all the different... Um, compression algorithms you have a nice little selection of a few of them here and you can choose the different parameters so i'm going to go for 7z and you can choose your compression level between fast is fast normal maximum and ultra obviously and there's a trade-off um always between the level of compression and time so it's going to be it's going to take longer to compress it more so the top compression level is what they called ultra and you get to choose between four different compression methods uh, within that uh, archive format, right? So there's a different compression. This is actually the compression algorithm, and the format is the is the is the wrapper, uh, to the best of my knowledge. Um, and you can also choose a number of CPU threads to dedicate to the compression process, um, because uh, compression, file compression, and file extraction is relatively CPU heavy. So if you're doing a lot of other things, you might want to say, you know, it's just it's by default four. I have up to eight threads and, you know, you might say, I oh, just do one thread and it'll take longer because you're using less CPU, but uh, it will pose less of a strain on your system. And actually a really, really nice feature is that you can compress your archive. So if you're looking for a way to compress stuff you're storing in optical media, uh, there's many ways to skin that particular cat, but this is one way you could box your stuff up in archives and uh, password protect them. Um so that is one methodology and that's basically it so i kind of set my uh compression job up i say okay this is what you're going to be doing 7z ultra lzma2 um four threads of cpu on the job i'm not going to do pass i'm not going to do password protection click okay and uh now it's running so this is so you can actually see how long it's going to take to compress 10 gigs I'm running this job on a i3, so it's a relatively um, relatively weak CPU. I'll shortly be upgrading to an i7. Um, but yeah, it's just you can leave this run in the background. I like this, the command line tools. I find you have to kind of um, use, you know, to get verbosity is another operator, whereas this, this one gives you a decent amount of verbosity, I think, just out of the box. Um, you can see the compression ratio. You can see... 2%, you can see your uh, elapsed time, remaining time, total total size. So actually it's not quite 10 gigs, it's 9,702 uh, megabytes. And the, you can see the compressed size here, so you can get a feel as this develops how much disk space you're going to actually be saving through running the compression. I hope that was helpful, it's a nice little GUI. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot more things. I'm actually going to cancel this because I don't really need this. Uh, need this job. I'm sure there's a few other features in here, split files, combined files. You can also use this to unzip stuff and you can add a bunch of stuff into your archive from different file systems to again save you having to uh, click around and use a lot of kind of command line wizardry. For instance, this is the mbox. I might want to say uh, 
I could add another file in here, uh, select one or more files, um, and I could add that into the archive and then batch them all up as my uh, into the project. Uh, I think that's enough about it. Good tool. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.